Welcome to the Wong Way Street Podcast. I'm your host, Kelly Wong, and this podcast is dedicated to self-discovery and personal growth that will help you find your personal GPS. Life, as we know, can be unpredictable. And when the path we thought we were meant to follow takes unexpected turns, it's time to recalibrate those turns and discover endless possibilities. Join us on the Wong Way Street Podcast today to find your true direction. Let's dive in. Hey, welcome to another episode. So I recently watched a documentary that I highly recommend, and it's called Underrated. Underrated is a story of a young man that, who you might recognize his name. His name is Stephen Curry. Now, whether you like basketball or not, it really doesn't matter. The story is about him as a high schooler, where he was small, skinny, barely six feet. But what he lacked in size he made up for his love for the game. He chose not to focus on his limitations, but concentrated on his strength, which was his shooting skills. When he was a senior, his dream was to attend Virginia Tech because that's where both his parents had attended. But that dream was squashed because they told him there was no spot for him. And honestly, it was his size that was a liability for Division I basketball. In fact, not many other colleges went to scout him out, but one did, and that was Davidson College. There was one person who saw beyond Curry's size, and that was Coach Bob McCullough of Davidson College. He saw Curry's potential where others saw impossibility, and he felt that he had something special. And it was really the coach's belief that led Curry to accept the offer. And when they accepted the offer, his mother said to the coach, don't worry, coach, we'll fatten him up. But the coach said, don't do anything. We'll take him as he is. Now, Curry valued that because the coach didn't try to change him or mold him into something else because of his size. Don't forget, he was barely six feet and 150 pounds, a skinny kid for a shooting guard. This existing players at Davidson even doubted Curry, but the coach always believed in him. He nurtured his talents and he guided him. Now, fast forward during his three years there, Curry propelled Davidson to the elite eight of the NCAA. They beat Gonzaga, Georgetown, Wisconsin. Now, unfortunately, they didn't advance to the final four, but at the time, his performance and his growth was so big that it led him to the NBA, and he decided not to finish his fourth year at Davidson. When it came to the draft, again, it started all over again because he wasn't the first pick. He was the seventh pick by the Golden State Warriors. The drafting report on Curry was the same narrative that he heard in high school. He was too small for a shooting guard. He needed to add muscle. He overshoots. And again, he was underrated. Now, yes, he had a few struggles in the beginning, but a few years later, he led the Warriors to an NBA championship, the first in four decades. Why am I telling you this? Why does Curry's story matter? The key takeaway from his journey isn't about his basketball skills. It's about overcoming adversity. It's about persisting when you're overlooked and underrated. His journey started as a lanky high school basketball player with a dream. A dream that many considered too big for someone else his size, which happens to be too small. But for Curry, it was never about what he couldn't do. It was about what he could do. What could he bring to the team? His love for the game transcended his physical limitations. At the heart of the journey, it was truly his coach and mentor, Coach McCullough. His faith in Curry and his abilities encapsulated the transformative power of mentorship. It was a topic I talked about a few episodes back. Coach McCullough recognized and nurtured his potential when many others couldn't see past his physical limitations. Perhaps the most striking aspect of the story is really his mental strength how he was able to block out the negative chatter from the outside world, the discouragements, the doubts. It's something we can all learn from. 
Because more often than not, for us, it's the inner chatter in our own head that's filled with fear and self-doubt that prevents us from moving forward and realizing our full potential. It's not even having the negative chatter that Curry was getting from the outside world. So imagine that, how he had to dig deep to get past all that negative chatter he was hearing. What I resonated with this documentary is that it touched upon a few of my podcast episodes. Minimizing the chatter internally and externally, the impact of mentorship, the vulnerability of dreaming big. His dream was first to go to Virginia Tech. And even though that didn't happen, another opportunity happened for him where he met the greatest mentor of his life still to this day to pursue his ultimate dream of being in the NBA. Ultimately, being underrated is not a defining characteristic. It's merely a starting point. It's what you choose to do next that truly counts. And it's a lesson we can all learn from his remarkable journey. Hey, thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Wong Way Street Podcast. We hope that our conversations have inspired you to embrace the detours on your life's journey. Trust that the road ahead is full of endless possibilities. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to subscribe and leave us a review. Thanks and see you again soon.